Under the SAS umbrella, there are many programs for 14 different target groups. But often a poor family is not aware of the benefits they are entitled to. And if they are aware, they have to go to multiple offices to seek help. With one window SAS, our aim was to deliver services through a single window. One window SAS has six pillars. Firstly, a one-stop shop, the SAS center. Secondly, the back office, digital interface. Thirdly, a public-facing digital information and services platform. The fourth component of One Window SRS is a mobile app. The fifth component is the cognitive API architecture or the integrated database. And finally, the SRS One Window Beneficiary Selection and Targeting Policy. We developed the first One Window SRS Center in Sitara Market in Islamabad. In this center, all SR services can be accessed in one place by metric ATM machines and branches of partner banks, SR registration desks for survey registry, another office, centers to enroll children under the SR's Education Conditional Cash Transfer Program, information desk of SR's undergraduate scholarships, SR's Nashunama Center. SAS Amdan and SAS Interest Free Loan Desks, the SAS Digital Internet Cafe, SAS Langar, Shuttle Service to take people to Banagas, SAS Tahafo Desks, Desks to serve the differently abled. There is a fully equipped training room and a utility store outlet where individuals can eventually get commodities at subsidized rates. There's also a retiring room for women who come with children, information dashboards and information and complaint desks to facilitate a Saskafalat beneficiaries whose families receive quarterly stipends, both point of sales machines as well as cash machines or ATMs have been placed in the one window center. We also asked our partner banks to open their branches in the center and I requested Nadra to open their offices here as well to facilitate individuals. Having all these services in one center can significantly facilitate an SAS Kifalat beneficiary. Previously, if an SAS Kifalat beneficiary failed to receive payment because of faded fingerprints, she had to go to the Nadra office to get the fingerprints attested. Then she had to wait for one week. If she failed again, she was supposed to send us a complaint. And then after some due diligence, we would send her a personalized message asking her to go to a bank branch where she would be able to draw the money. So imagine a woman from Mohman district coming to Peshawar for days to go through this. She would spend a lot of money on taxis in the process and would stay in shanty hotels. Now we have brought everything in one center. The woman with the faded fingerprints is now assisted here because the bank branch, Nadra, ATMs are all under one roof and her problem can be addressed quickly. If the woman wants food during those few hours while she is at the center, she can get freed food at the Asas Langa, which also has its outpost here. And if it gets late and she is not able to go back to home safely the same day, she can stay at the government's Panaga. Many Kafalat beneficiaries do not know that they can also get benefits from Esas Nashunama and receive school stipends for their children. Now when they come to the center, they can get all the information and they can enroll their school going children in Vasila Talim Digital. The digital system for this program, which we have recently put in place, does real-time verifications from three data sources before the child is enrolled in the program. And if the child doesn't have a birth registration form, which is a prerequisite for enrollment, the mother can just walk across the courtyard and get it made in the Nadra center rather than taking a taxi to go to another site. Similarly, the Asas Nashonoma center is here in the center as well. Children at risk of stunting and pregnant mothers can get specialized nutrition food from the office and cash stipends from the ATM. They get awareness sessions as well on health and nutrition. 
Antenatal services and immunization services are available at the center. Students can walk into the center and get information about SARS undergraduate scholarship and they don't have to pay in an internet cafe to fill their application because here in the One Window SRS Center there is free use of internet, computer and printer in the SRS Internet Cafe. In the One Window Center, someone looking for a livelihood opportunity can visit SRS Amdan and SRS interest-free loan desks run by the Pakistan Poverty Alleviation Fund. A person in need of financial assistance for health can be channeled to SRS Tahafuz or Bethul Mal's health-related financial assistance systems. Through this One Window SR Center, many care services can be accessed. You are able to admit a child in an orphanage. You are able to get a young woman admitted in a vocational center. A street child can be admitted in one of our free schools. SR's registration desks have been set up where people can get surveyed, which enables us to ascertain if they are eligible for SR's benefits. Here in the center, dashboards display information relevant to people's needs and complaints are addressed in real time. We also have a beneficiary retiring room in case a woman comes with a child and needs to feed her. A differently abled individual can have multiple avenues of redress in the SRS Center. In SRS, we have created a special window for the differently abled by allowing a lower eligibility threshold for their inclusion in SRS Kefalat. Once they make Nadra cards for the disabled, they automatically get enrolled in SRS if they are below a certain threshold. But the process of making the disability card involves multiple steps and visits to multiple offices. So to cut through these lengthy processes, staff sit in the center and then people can access the Nadra office across the courtyard to get their cards made. In the same disability room, we have also hosted an NGO which provides free prosthesis and orthosis. Also, a customized wheelchair can be ordered. The whole purpose is to facilitate people in need through a one-window service. The one-stop shop center is one of the six pillars of one-window SRS. The second part is the integrated back office digital interface, which facilitates access of all those working in the SRS ecosystem to appropriate links and resources. The third part of One Window SRS is the public-facing digital information and services platform with people-centered information. People are not interested in technical information. They have questions about how they can benefit from SRS. So we built the SRS digital e-portal with this in view based on the questions which we get on social media about various SRS programs. The fourth part of SRS One Window is an app which mirrors information on the digital portal, but in addition, the app also marks location of our services, such as Langars, Panagas, and in the future, payment sites will also be mapped here. So if it is opened from a mobile, you can actually be navigated to the address. This app is enabled with a camera which allows a photograph to pick the geolocation of an SRS social welfare site to be mapped. The fifth component of One Window SRS is the integrated database. Under the SRS data reform, agencies will be able to access data through APIs with no cost at all. Data integration will also enable transparency. By punching in the identity number of an individual, agencies will be able to see what benefits an individual or the family are getting. But more important than that, it will also show what their entitlement is in terms of various SRS programs. The sixth pillar of One Window SRS is the standardized beneficiary targeting policy. Previously, all agencies used their own eligibility ascertainment systems. This policy will ensure that going forward, there is standardized beneficiary targeting using the proxy means test which uses information on households and individual characteristics to compute an algorithm-generated score which ranges from 0 to 100 for each household and then serves as a proxy for welfare status. The information needed to generate the score comes from the National Socioeconomic Survey. So in the one window policy, specific scores are stipulated for each program and a policy has been devised to do away with duplications uh, and our database integration will allow its implementation. We have made a commitment to establish SAS one-window centers 
in every district of our country. And we will inshallah fulfill this commitment.